Hello everyone. So uh, basically today we will talk about, you know, what is the hype around data science? Uh, why everyone wants to, you know, move to this AI and ML field? Uh, what you can do and if at all you should transition into this kind of a career or not. So demystifying a quick, uh, you know, uh, a few jargons in the industry like data analytics, uh, natural language processing, deep learning, data science. Uh, there are multiple uh, jargons that people talk about these days, right? So uh, whatever you do with data is data analytics. Uh, that's the simple definition of data science and data analytics. Any way in which uh, you can derive meaningful information from the data presented to the stakeholders, be it uh, business intelligence or be it uh, data mining, everything falls into the category of data science. The only thing uh, right now, I think, uh, which has evolved is data science is also, uh, you know, uh, how you can use machine learning and AI into data science as well. So what is AI? AI is nothing but how you can make the machines talk and think like humans. So that's all about uh, artificial intelligence. A very common example is Alexa. We have Siri. Uh, we have uh, Tesla, right? All of them are good examples of how uh, AI can be used uh, in the data science. Now, a lot of people uh, come to me and, uh, you know, ask me about how to make a career transition in this field. Uh, the first question uh, I ask them, are you really interested in this? Because it's not about getting into this field just because it looks great. I know it's uh, it's said to be the sexiest job of the 21st century. That's, but it's not about that, right? I think uh, whatever you do, you should be good at it and you should be interested in that. So that is something which is key when it comes to switching careers. So I always recommend people to think whether they're actually interested in data science or not. Uh, the second thing which you can do uh, while starting up is probably there are a lot of good courses on online, uh, say Udemy, Coursera by Andrew and G, or you can do a one year full time course. It could be an MS or, or it could be an MBA in business analytics. Data science is now everywhere. You cannot escape data science. A basic uh, knowledge of data science definitely is required everywhere and for everyone. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much about where you can start. A brief introduction about me. Uh, basically, I have seven years experience in the analytics domain, machine learning and AI. I am currently a trainer for data science um, in, in my current organization and I have trained almost 3000 people globally in the past uh, you know, two years. Uh, I have uh, experience with multiple cutting edge techniques predictive analytics, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, deep learning, natural language processing. And I am also a published author of the book, Gray. So all I'm telling you, you know, from this is from at least the seven years experience that I have in the industry. Today, it is probably data science. Tomorrow, it would be something else. Tomorrow, probably we'll be talking about blockchain or cloud, uh, right? So it could be anything technology changes, technology evolves, but why data science right now is important because we are generating huge amount of data data science have we have been doing from a very long time we have been generating 2.5 quintillion bytes of data okay but now that has even crossed uh you know the quintillion probably we are generating that uh three or four quintillion of data every uh, every day and every person is generating that much data, right? So the velocity, volume, and variety of data is uh, increasing exponentially, and that's why we need something so that you know they can that they can deal with you know that large volume of data that is coming in, make sense out of it, and probably you know drive uh, business uh, decisions. So you would have also heard about you know statistics uh, and data science together so what has statistics got to do with all of this uh, basically the backbone of all machine learning and ai is statistics so if you are really interested in this field i would suggest uh, you know start with basic stats what is hypothesis testing uh, what is p value why why at all you know do you want to um, uh, what is inferential statistics? What is descriptive statistics? Descriptive statistics basically becomes the exploratory data analysis in data science, right? And uh, predictive analytics basically is nothing but uh, predictive uh, statistics. So all of this is related with statistics uh, very, very closely. So if you are going to start somewhere, 
start with statistics and math okay so as i already mentioned artificial intelligence is nothing but uh, what we use uh, like self driving car siri cortana alexa uh, where we use machines which are able to you know think and act like human beings and data science is like i don't know that one so my alexa just spoke okay so it's smart enough so data science uh, basically is a combination of multiple things it's a combination of deep learning it's a combination of machine learning it's a combination of artificial intelligence and along with that we should have domain knowledge uh, uh, analysis analytical skills a little bit of knowledge on maths and statistics to be a good um, you know professional in data science so some of the myths and mm -hmm. facts i don't know that one some of the myths uh, about data science okay is that you probably do not need programming to be a data scientist so one of them is you know definitely this is not true you have to know uh, in fact rigorous study and understanding of the subject is required for data science and you need to be a good programmer if you want to do anything with data science because be data engineering field or data scientist or data analyst everything is currently moved to python or r okay any language that you choose but you have to be good at coding uh, the second thing is uh, you know uh, you don't need a degree in data science because you want to transition into this field i've heard you know uh, a lot of people say this while this is partly true but companies today are looking for certified data scientists okay people who have thorough knowledge about the subject so this kind of degrees justify that you have spent enough time on the subject so my opinion would be you can go with it if you're still a newbie and data science and statistics are not two different fields definitely not uh, everything that we do in data science is closely interrelated and tied up with statistics so if you are a person who has already worked on statistics or you have studied statistics in your school uh, probably data science is a very good uh, career for you okay and let's talk about you know the hype and the reality in data science so data science is supposed to be uh, the sexiest job of the 21st century right some of which probably is true some of which is a hype today it's data science tomorrow it would be some other technology so don't run behind technologies do what you love if you're in, if you are interested in tech do that if you're interested in being uh, you know uh, in a management kind of a profile do that if you want to be a singer sing so it's not that just because it's set to be the sexiest job of the 21st century you have to do that Uh, it is definitely one of the most sought after job profiles uh, but it depends on what is your qualification and what is the level of expertise that you have in that subject only then it is sought after right uh, generally people uh, think that uh, data science is very high paying while it is true but current trends suggest that data engineering is also a very good high paying job you may think in the next 2 uh, 3 years the a requirement of data engineers would be a lot more than data scientists because data scientists cannot do anything unless you have data right so these people or data engineers are the one who basically create a data warehouse get the data from different places and give it to the data science team or data scientist so that he can derive insights from it right so data engineering is a very very important aspect of the entire data science ignoring it and just going to the machine learning or model building is probably not right okay um then coming uh, to you know what you should know in math so when we talk about math related to uh, data science what that could be uh, it could be basic uh, statistics definitely uh, you have to know about algebra and you should know about calculus right concepts like straight lines solving linear non linear equations eigen vectors determinants concepts of matrices um, a little bit about distributions right probability distributions uh, measure of central tendency measures of dispersion measures of variability these are some things that definitely required uh, when you are starting with and also working on data science now coming to applications of data science where is it used it is used everywhere it is used in fraud detection it is uh, in in your banks it is used in dynamic pricing in the railways and the aviation industry it is used in recommending uh, you items on flipkart amazon netflix all of that it's used in your inventory planning it is used in your best route you know if you have ordered something online 
um, say food. Uh, so how does the driver know, right? Which one uh, should be delivered first? So best route optimization it is used for pricing of products. It is used extensively in healthcare for research purposes. It is used, uh, you know, um, across domains, be it healthcare, be it FMCG, CPG, be it uh, manufacturing domain, it is used everywhere. So that's the reason probably you should know the basics of data science, but probably just because it is used anywhere does not mean that you have to become a data scientist to you know know about these things. So know the differentiation between knowing something and transitioning your career into those kind of a field. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, from me. Uh, I just wanted to cover uh, these things that you know, uh, data science and NLP and analytics, all of them mean the same thing. Uh, there are higher or advanced versions of data science like deep learning, neural network, which basically uh, uh, helps you to, uh, which helps the machine model the structure of the human brain, right? So it helps you to understand how um, machines uh, can actually emulate the behavior of humans. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, those are the jargons. I think uh, I, I would recommend or I would suggest, please concentrate on what you like and don't go just by the buzzwords. If you are looking for a change and you are really interested in this field, then this is the best place you can be. So thank you uh, everyone for joining. Uh, all the best uh, for everyone out there. And you can definitely connect with me on LinkedIn um, uh, and see you. Any questions? I'm still here. I think I can see the chat. Any questions for me? Any any questions? Uh, okay, what kind of... Uh, yeah, data scientist and data engineer is what attracts a, a potential employer. But at the same time, I think the current trend is that you should know deep learning and neural network because already people know about machine learning these days. So an advanced topic like neural network and NLP is something which attracts uh, employers across. Okay, any other uh, questions uh, with data science? Okay, uh, thank you guys. Uh, I'll, si I'll be signing off and please connect with me if you want to know more or if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.